Are you shooting your video footage in a log profile but finding you're just taking ages colour grading all your footage or perhaps you're just even put off shooting in a log profile because you're scared that the colour grading process just takes too long? Well in this video I'm going to show you how just in a few simple steps you could do the heavy lifting of all that colour grading and get a really good starting point in just under 30 seconds. So let's jump in and I'll show you how you can get started with your colour grading. Before we jump into the editing suite, there is one thing we're going to have to do first, and that is download the Rec. 709 conversion LUT from whatever camera company you're using, whether it's Canon, Nikon or Sony, whatever it may be. I'm using Sony cameras, so I simply Google S-Log3 to Rec. 709 conversion LUT. That took me to the Sony website where they've got a load of LUTs on there, including the Rec. 709 conversion LUT. Should be the same with whatever camera company you're using. There's other people out there doing these conversion LUTs, but the camera company is probably the safest bet to start with. Once you've downloaded that, simply download it to a file wherever you save your LUTs and then you're ready to jump into the editing suite and start this colour grading process. So once you've got that conversion LUT downloading, you're ready to start colour grading. I'm editing here in Final Cut, but it's going to be pretty similar in Premiere Pro and DaVinci Resolve. Just got to make sure you have adjustment layers because until recently, Final Cut didn't have adjustment layers and you had to download a third party plugin. I'll leave a link down below to the one I was using from Editor's Keys just in case you don't have the latest version of Final Cut. But if you do, you should find it here in Titles and Generators here saying Adjustment Layer. So let's take a look at a timeline and as you can see here I've got all my footage of this property I've been shooting already laid out because I do my colour grading, for the uh, last part of the puzzle really. So you can see here that the S-Log footage all looks very flat. So what we need to do is just get that starting point with that Rec. 709 LUT inserted. So you're going to want to go up here to your adjustment layer in that Titles and Generators panel. Click on Long, drag it down, put it at the start of your S-Log or whatever log profile footage you're using. Drag it all the way to the end of all that log footage. You notice here I haven't put it at the start here because that is a drone shot and that isn't using the log footage profile that um, so we don't want to affect that only the S-Log3 footage that we want to affect here so then click on your adjustment layer go down here to the effects panel search for custom LUT there it is I'm going to drag it onto the adjustment layer once you've done that go up to the effects panel sidebar and you'll notice here you've now got custom LUT here you click on LUT and first time you're going to need to choose your LUT from whatever file you've saved it under and then it will come up here every time you want to use it again. I've been talking about the Rec. 709 conversion LUT but I actually use some LUTs called the Phantom LUTs and I forget the guy's name who made these but they're a great set of LUTs that mimic these RE cameras which are great cinema line cameras and produce brilliant colours. So I find them a really good starting point because I really don't have to do much colour grading afterwards but they do cost about 40 to 70 pounds so they're pretty pricey but I find they're a really good starting point but if you don't want to spend the money these Rec. 709 conversion LUTs from the camera manufacturer will be absolutely fine. So once you've got your adjustment layer on there, you've got your custom LUT here, you just want to click on it and boom, straight away it's made a really good start to our colour grading. Uh, if you look here, that's it with it on, that's it with it off. And you can see that's the flat S-Log, that's it with it on and to be honest, we probably don't need to do a great deal to that. So I'm going to click here on my colour wheels and then I get my workspace as colour and effects. I have just get a single one, get a luma. With the luma you can see the highlights at the top, shadows at the bottom. Just remember don't go above, or well, try not to go above 100 for the highlights, zero on the shadows. And as I say this really doesn't need too much, maybe just bring down the shadows a bit, bump the saturation a bit. and again here maybe bring the shadows down just to affect the contrast put a bit of saturation in that's all you need to do just make sure you're going through each individual clip because if you click on the adjustment layer and start adjusting all these wheels that's going to adjust the whole um, or like all your clips so just make sure you're selecting each individual clip once you've put that custom LUT on so now I'm just going to show you how quick this can be to add to start the color grading process because as I said at the start, you can do this under 30 seconds. So I'll get back to the default setting at the start. I've just deleted that adjustment layer so you can see how quick this is. So 
Let's start that timer rolling. Let's click on Titles Generators, Adjustment Layer, click Long, drag it down here, all the way along your footage. Click there, get Custom LUT, drag it onto your Adjustment Layer, come up here to Custom LUT, select your LUT, and boom, there you go. Under 30 seconds. So I think you'd agree that's a great starting point for your color grading. Well, I hope all that information is going to help speed up your color grading process because when I found out about this, it was really like the penny dropped. It just made everything so much quicker, so much smoother and actually makes color grading kind of enjoyable now. So I hope it's going to help you too. If you'd like to also learn about how I expose for S-Log3 on a real estate shoot, I'm going to be making a video very soon about that, which will be available just here so you can check that out. But for now, thanks for watching and I'll see you all again soon.